Okay, now real quick, I was having some issues. I already said this lots of times. I guess we just want to get it on the record. Every church person I have ever talked to about this ever has argued with me about it. <clears throat> All right. So, after the Holy Spirit hits mankind, and we're specifically, generally, kind of beginning with Constantine, and once the Bible hits Europe, um, the first thing that happens is a whole bunch of men go forth conquering and to conquer. Sometimes they actually conquer. Sometimes they only try to conquer. But that's what they do. Okay. And eventually they get like a sort of established borders with other smaller borders inside. And here's kings and now there's dukes and there's territories and, and flags and all kinds of stuff. The things stay the same long enough relatively that then people move on to the next issue at hand, which is you talking shit, motherfucker. Yeah. You want to say that to my face? Why don't you, why don't you, let's take it outside. Oh no, it's on. It's to the death. So a whole bunch of men go out <laughs> killing each other with swords and arrows and fire. But eventually, we get sort of like a sort of kind of a social etiquette built up around uh, the meek, which would be most women and some men not wanting to piss off the other men with swords so that we don't get killed. All right. You guys get so mad when we talk about how the world is all about men and the patriarchy. Well, I mean, this, 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 this is how it happened. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing that happens relatively after that is that people move on to the next thing. Now there's sort of etiquette and there's um, established territories, which means that now there's established markets and they've been around long enough and here's different territories and here's different guys. Well, I mean, you know, kings, they like to put their faces on shit. We need currency. That makes trading so much easier and it does. But also, wait, wait, how much is it worth? I want to make sure I'm not getting cheated here, buddy. Oh, it goes all across at least Europe. He scales market value for goods. A measure of wheat for a day's wages. Two measures of barley for the same, but hurt not the oil and the wine. There's always a cheaper option and also always a finer option. Okay, but now we have currency. We have established value. We have people walking around on the streets looking at all this stuff for sale that they could have for themselves. If only they had the money but what do we know from the bible which is you know probably not really i don't know exactly what lessons were being taught by the churches at the time but i do know uh, what i've read in the meantime and that is that you cannot serve money and yourself and also serve God at the same time. He's a God of the living and not a God of the dead. And anybody will do anything to get themselves some of that money. YOLO. YOLO. This is horse.
but his name is death and hell followed with him. Okay, uh, this one I've been looking for for a long time because the one where this where the heaven gets opened up like a scroll, that's, that's Sputnik. And everybody goes, you lied to us, church. There's no God thrown up there. It's nothing but space and dust. There's no heaven. That means there's no hell. And I can do what I want. Yeah. He said he wanted a sexual revolution. Well, you know. We all like forbidden fruit. Okay. <clears throat> but not just that. Oh, yeah. Then lots of other people got a lot more wicked. Whatever they were holding themselves back from doing, they didn't anymore. Oh, gratuitous war just to make money. Richard Nixon.